fortunate in Queensbury to live in a community that values public school education. The hours, weeks, months, and years of planning is a gift that our community has given to our students of today, tomorrow, and for generations to come. And we thank our community for what they've done. We're so excited about Legacy 2020. Uh, it's been five years in the making, three years of planning, and two years of construction. And we're so excited about it because this is the year that the vision becomes a reality. And uh, we've taken the time to get input from teachers, students, the community members. And this is the year where uh, we're ready to do the ribbon cutting and we're so excited about the final product. When you walk through our building and it has so many open spaces, uh, you can see all of the great uh, teaching and learning that's happening in the rooms. The classrooms have been designed to promote collaboration and student-centered instruction. The furniture is designed to be movable and flexible to promote 21st century skills. And we know that our students need 21st century skills in order to be college and career ready. Well, I, I think the, the construction project has created, uh, obviously, a brand new uh, gym uh, for our athletic programs, uh, having games and tournaments and, and different uh, events that we're able to host here. We're now able to do it all in one location so that uh, it kind of keeps everybody together and it brings a, a encompassing feel to, to the event that we're hosting, as well as uh, having our, our weight room, which also um, was, was revamped and now is incorporated into our physical education classes on a daily basis. Having everything in close proximity makes accessibility that much greater and uh, use of it more. Drew and I had a lot of trouble um, trying to like set up photo shoots and like make things feel natural when they weren't really work because we had to like stage all the photo shoots. So Drew and I would have to like go and make kids feel like we weren't taking pictures of them. So we'd have to like talk to them and try to make things seem a lot more natural than they were. But it was definitely hard to like trying to get the lighting correct because the lighting was really specific. I'm trying to edit the photos so they looked like they would look good when they were like blown up to, like this big. My favorite piece that I took personally um, was the one of Zion by the gym, um, and that's my favorite piece because it came out of like a really, really long amount of effort and photographs. I like had Zion like stop moving and like hold the basketball and look at me, and he was like sweating because he was actually playing basketball. And even though it was staged, it like was really kind of natural. So that's why I that one was my favorite just because of all the effort I put into it. The new spaces are awesome. They provide a lot of flexibility for teachers and kind of allow students to branch off on their own and, you know, really be more exploratory in their learning. I think they look amazing. Like, one thing that's great about Queensbury is the facilities almost look like they're college level. Like, it's really amazing that a public high school has these spaces as well. Yeah, I love the new building. I think we're really fortunate to have such a beautiful new space, um, especially those places where community can gather, like the gym and the art spaces. You know, art brings people together. Um, so it's so nice to have those spaces. And we really can't wait for the library um, to open up, where um, especially as an English teacher, we could get back in there with our books and our friends and our community. Um, I feel like with the new construction, it has allowed me to be more flexible in what I want to do in the future, and it's been able to allow kids to get to classes easier and have more time to work on their arts and what they want to do. There is this amazing sense of community that's been created. The kids all seem to really 
talk to each other and interact more, that open studio concept I think is really working. I think it's really exciting some of the, the students about um, what other students in other classes are making, which is encouraging them to maybe take more art classes that they might not have tried. Uh, my favorite addition has got to be the math lab. It's amazing. And, um, and I'm really, really excited to um, exhibit the student artwork in our new gallery. That's going to be amazing. I think the opportunity this creative is, is that it's, it's, it's adaptable. It's probably one of the most valuable skills our students are going to need for the future is to be adaptable, to be flexible. And the space allows the instructional staff and the students to be um, in an adaptable environment, which will better prepare them for their future.